Welcome to the Fenwick and Trinity High School's Virtual College Fair. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Before we get started with our presentation, just a few quick housekeeping items to go over. The first is that attendees are welcome and encouraged to submit any questions they may have for the panelists at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. You can pose your question to a specific panelist or you can ask a general question of any and all of the panelists. Also, just a reminder, your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. There is one other block of sessions after this one, so please feel free to sign up for that if you haven't already done so. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on that same registration website. But without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and introduce our first panelist, which will be Drake University. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Grace Baumgartner and I am an admission counselor here for Drake University that works with students in the city of Chicago and some of the surrounding suburbs. I am also joined by my colleague Veronica McLaughlin in the chat here. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about Drake University. We are um, smaller end of a mid-sized liberal arts institution located in Des Moines, Iowa, which will be about five-ish hours away from you. So we have about 3,000 undergraduate students with 5,000 students total, including our grad students. So I know we can sound small at first, but we do have big school and small school perks that really do give us that mid-size school feel. So starting on the small school side of things, we have an average class size of 21, and your classes are going to be very project-based, hands-on, discussion-based classes. And we have a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio with no teaching assistance. So you will never be taught by a grad student. We have over 100 different undergrad programs for you to choose from. And no matter what you choose to study, you will start your major from day one to make sure that this is exactly what you want to do. And if you're not sure exactly what you want to study either right now or even when you get to Drake, that is absolutely okay because our number one major for incoming first years is actually open and undecided. So a few of our other top majors are pharmacy, actuarial science, politics, journalism. Um, and we have so many other programs as well um, from education, um, a whole college of arts and sciences, business, you name it. So going to the big school side of things, we have over 140 different clubs and organizations here on our campus. So no matter what you're involved in in high school, there's a good chance that we have an equivalent to it here. If you're interested in club or intramural sports, uh, to Greek life, religious organizations, multicultural organizations, um, you know, we have a lot. We also are a division one institution. So if you like sports and or you like free things, then this is perfect for you because you get free tickets to all of our games and our sporting events. Um, and especially our men's basketball team this year was very good. So always very exciting to cheer on the Bulldogs. We also have about 70% of our students coming from out of state. So we have a lot of students coming from Illinois, Minnesota, some of the surrounding states, but you will know students from all over. So this is nice. We are not a commuter campus. There are people there on the weekends. There are things to do, but you know, we're not too far, but we're also not too close. So it's very easy to get back and forth. And then I assume that one of the reasons you're going to college is to get a job after graduation, right? And Drake students do just that. So over 98% of our students got a job within six months or went on to further schooling. And the most impressive part about this, in my opinion, is that we have a 97% response rate to the survey. So we know where our students are going um, and we're very proud of that. So like I mentioned, we are located in Des Moines, Iowa, and maybe that you haven't been to Des Moines or you're just like, okay, well, what's in Des Moines? Because you're used to having Chicago in your backyard with all of these fun things to do and opportunities, right? But Des Moines has all of that as well. So we are actually the fastest growing city in the Midwest, and we have so many different opportunities, both professionally and socially as well, and fun things to do. So Drake's campus is located a little bit more of in a suburban area, but we are about seven minutes from downtown Des Moines. 
Um, and if you have a car, great, you can bring it, but you don't necessarily need to um, because you can get around for free on Des Moines public bus with your Drake ID. We have lots of students doing internships and different um, job and volunteer opportunities in Des Moines, as well as there are a lot of big name concerts that go through there. Lots of great restaurants, lots of minor league sports. If I have any Cubs fans out here, um, the AAA Iowa Cubs are in Des Moines. So a um, lot of fun things to do. So I just really quickly wanted to talk about um, if you're interested at all, what that would look like to apply. And we take the Common App, if you have heard of that. And if not, it is one application that you can use to apply to any school that takes it. And we also have our own private Drake application. We do not have an application fee. Our application opens August 1st of every year for seniors. And then December 1st is our early action priority deadline, meaning this is non-binding, but we do recommend getting it in by December 1st if you're able to, just so you have the most consideration for financial aid and scholarships. However, March 1st is our regular deadline. There are two paths that you can use to apply. No matter which you choose, we will review your application holistically, meaning we will look at everything you send to us. So we have the test score pathway if you would like to submit your ACT or SAT, but we also have the test optional pathway. So if you feel like you could better represent yourself in an essay or an interview than a test score, then I recommend choosing that pathway. All students who are admitted to Drake receive a presidential scholarship. So for being admitted, you are looking at $21,000 to $25,000 for each of your four undergraduate years here at Drake. We do have a fair amount of other scholarships for you to apply to as well. One last thing I will mention is that we have a tuition guarantee. So what you pay your freshman year is locked in for your four years um, and will not go up when the rest of university tuition goes up. We have lots of visit options. I can put this link in the chat and I will also put my email in the chat. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned some new things today and I will pass it over to the next college. Thank you very much, Drake. Um, and just a reminder to any attendees who just joined us, please feel free to submit any questions you may have for the panelists through the Q&A feature. But up next is Seton Hall University. Great, thank you so much. Um, so hello everyone, my name is Kim Thompson. I work for the admissions office at Seton Hall University and I'm happy to be here today. Um, so Seton Hall is a private Catholic co-ed institution. Um, we are a medium sized school that we believe gives the best of both worlds. So we are, um, you know, we have lots of research opportunities that you would typically see at the larger institutions, including lots of programming and majors mm -hmm. to choose from. But then we offer the small nurturing classroom environments that you typically see at the smaller institutions. We have about 10,000 total students, 6,200 of them are undergraduates. Um, we have 55% female, 45% male, all 50 states represented, as well as 70 countries and a 45% diversity rate. We are conveniently located in South Orange, New Jersey, which is just a quick 20 minute drive from the Newark airport, 30 minutes from Manhattan, and just one hour from Philadelphia, mountains and beaches. So we really do offer it all. Our average class size is just 21 students. Um, however, each year that you're in your program, you'll find that those class sizes will gradually get smaller and smaller. Freshman English is one of the larger classes you'll experience because every student takes it, but still on average, it's only about 15 students. We have a 14 to one student to faculty ratio with students uh, close faculty mentorship um, and minimal graduate assistance. Um, we do also offer lots of services free of charge to our students, um, internships and career services, counseling and psychological services, disability and support services, tutoring, health and wellness, um, and the list goes on. Um, so we also have uh, seven undergraduate colleges and over 90 programs to choose from. We have the College of Arts and Sciences, the School of Diplomacy and International Relations, our Stillman School of Business, College of Nursing, College of Education and Human Services, College of Communication and the Arts, as well as the School of Theology. We also have several unique programs which offer dual degrees. We have a partnership with Stevens, um, which will give you um, an engineering degree or artificial intelligence. We have several dual law programs, a school of health and medical sciences um, and joint MD. We have lots of internship opportunities available to our students. Um, it's not uncommon for students to graduate with one or more internships uh, because 
they recognize the importance of getting that hands-on experience, are ranked fourth in the nation for uh, U in the U.S. for internship opportunities by the International Business Times, and we have an employment rate at about 92%. Um, our Center for Academic Success is our award-winning academic advising program. Um, so students will receive a mentor and an academic advisor who will just help them get acclimated with college life. It can sometimes be a little scary or stressful the first time. So this program has been really helpful and beneficial to our uh, new students. We also have over 130 clubs and student organizations as well as Greek life. We have performances both on campus and right in the village of South Orange where we're located. Um, we bring dances, carnivals, karaoke, barbecues, uh, you name it. We do try to have fun as much as possible. We also have lots of Pirate Pride. We have 14 Division I athletic teams. Um, our most popular sport is our men's basketball team. We're in the Big East Conference. We also have over 25 club and intramural sports. Um, and about 50% of our students choose to participate in one of the club or intramural sports typically, so they are very popular. We don't require that freshmen stay on campus. However, 80% of our freshmen choose to stay in university housing. We do have six residence halls and two apartment buildings, and we have uh, doubles, triples, and four-person suites to choose from. Cost of attendance for this current year is about 61,000. That's including tuition fees, room and board. I know it's a very scary number, but in actuality, we can be very, very affordable. We give over $100 million in grants and scholarships each year, and 98% of our students do receive some form of financial aid, which technically comes from us. A lot of that aid does. We try as best as we can to close that gap as much as possible. When it comes to applying, we have two early action deadlines, which are both non-binding, November 15th and December 15th. Um, when you are ready to apply, we have two application um, options for you to choose from. We have our own seat and hall application as well as the Common App. We don't have a preference. We require an essay, your official high school transcripts, a counselor report, teacher recommendation, and we are actually test optional through fall of 2026. Um, that is, you know, obviously due to COVID, we want to be as accommodating to students as we can. Right now, there are two exceptions to that rule, though, um, joint MD and education. Um, for any students that want to pursue those programs, it is a requirement to submit test scores. Um, for education, it's a state requirement for New Jersey that all of our students have to submit test scores. Um, so you can still be admitted to like pre-education, but if you want to be directly admitted to the College of uh, Education, you do need test scores um, to get that. But just to give you an idea of what our uh, review process looks like, we do take a holistic approach when we're reviewing applications, but our average admitted student has about a 3.6 GPA. Um, that's on a 4.0 scale. Average SAT score of about a 1235 um, and an average ACT of about a 27. Um, so we hope that you can eventually visit us. Um, we have lots of visit opportunities. The website is right there, shu.edu slash visiting. Here you can find uh, campus tours, information sessions, which we do offer both in person and virtually. We also have lots of open houses to choose from, financial aid workshops, and more. Uh, so that's it for me for today. Um, hopefully you found this information to be helpful. My email address is here if you have anything else that you'd like to follow up with me on. Um, and hopefully you can follow us on social media so you're up to date on all the new things that we have to offer. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Seton Hall. Uh, moving on to our next presentation this afternoon, we have University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Hi, everybody. So my name is Keena Griffin, and I'm an assistant director of undergraduate admissions with the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Um, so today I want to talk to you about what we call the power of I. Our goal at the university is to give you autonomy throughout your entire college search process and your experience during your college years. And so we want to serve as a resource to help you harness your own power. Now, with that, the University of Illinois is the state's flagship university. We are the biggest school in the entire state, and we like to think that we have some of the most resources in the entire state. In terms of our family, we have about 34,000 undergraduate students and just over 51,000 students total on our campus. We are one of the most diverse schools in the Big Ten, as well as in the Midwest, with students coming from every corner of the state of Illinois, every corner of America, all 50 states are represented, and 113 countries globally. We truly try to create a welcoming and an open environment on our campus to make sure that you can experience life with your fellow students from similar backgrounds as you and students from completely different walks of life. That's something that we really pride ourselves on at the university. 
We also pride ourselves on the education that we bring. We are the number 15 public ranked institution in the entire country, and that's according to US News and World Report. But throughout our history, we have focused on bringing new and better solutions to the world. So you can see that 23 Nobel Prize winners, as well as 26 Pulitzer Prize winners, are esteemed amongst our faculty, amongst our alumni. Throughout our history, we have brought innovation to society. We're actually a global leader in the response to COVID-19. Our faculty are award-winning, and they actually helped develop the saliva-based test. So our campus is really proud of that response. We're proud of the research and the initiatives that we bring with those real world impacts. We also bring the number one return on investment in the entire Big Ten according to the website Payscale. So you can rest assured that your Illinois degree is going to be valued regardless of what major or what program or what your goals are on our campus. Now, in terms of those majors, we offer more than 150 different academic programs that are sorted across 11 different communities that we call colleges. We're most well known for our Granger College of Engineering, which is the number six undergraduate engineering program in the country, and our Geese College of Business, which is ranked 19th in the country for business programs. Outside of that, again, I want to stress that regardless of what you choose to study, you're going to have an amazing amount of resources, you're going to receive individualized attention and support, and you're going to earn a degree that is well respected globally. We have a ton of quote unquote hidden gems on our campus. Our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences houses about 70 of those 150 different academic programs. And a quarter of our students come in every year with our Division of General Studies, our undeclared program. So even if you haven't had everything figured out just yet, it's perfectly fine to apply undecided. You won't receive any disadvantages. Our academic advising model is very renowned and it is something that we make sure we give you that individualized support that you need from the moment you say this is my major on campus, or even if you're undeclared and you want to explore a number of different academic areas. We also have a tool. You'll see a couple of orange links throughout this presentation. Um, the first one that you're going to see here is a link to our program explorer. This tool is on our admissions website, and it helps you explore your major in detail in terms of academic pathways, degree requirements, cost of attendance specifically for your major, support systems on our campus, as well as success rates after graduation. So whether our students are going to professional or graduate schools or they're joining the workforce, we want you to know exactly what you can do with your Illinois degree. Now, inside the classroom, we are proud, but we're really proud of the resources that we have to offer beyond the classroom. About 70% of our students take advantage of internships where 10,000 unique employers come to recruit Illini students every year because they know they'll be prepared inside and outside of the classroom. We're a tier one research university, meaning our faculty don't just get paid to come in and teach you. They want to still engage with their field and they want to push those boundaries to help bring those new and better solutions to the world. So that faculty are on the cutting edge of their field and they teach you not only what to think about your field, but how to think about your field. That way, as you progress and you grow into the job market or into your educational pathways, you always understand how the field is developing, how to cultivate your own thoughts and interests around that field and how you can continue to bring those solutions to the world. In a traditional year, we also offer more than 400 study abroad programs that go to more than 60 countries. Now, due to the global impact of COVID, those programs have been rolled back this year. Our priority on campus is to maintain the safety of our students and our faculty to make sure that everyone in the Illini family is safe. Once it's safe to do so, we're going to roll those programs back out. And it's important to understand that study abroad opportunities are tailored individually toward your needs. So our entire study abroad department is dedicated to helping you find the right trip for you in terms of destination, helping you find funding for that trip, and to make sure that your time to graduation isn't delayed. It's a really expansive opportunity that about 30% of our students take advantage of, and they always love the experience. Now, like I mentioned, there are plenty of opportunities beyond the classroom. Illinois has over 1,800 registered student organizations, and those help our students engage with each other and engage with their material in our campus to have that genuine college experience. With such a big campus, we want to emphasize that you'll receive that individual support, but you also have the opportunity to create the community that is going to support your goals both academically as well as socially. With those, with those student groups, they run the entire spectrum from social groups to volunteer organizations, organizations that are related to your academics or your majors and future professional goals. We also have a vibrant campus. So there are tons of concerts, tons of festivals. In the past few years, we brought Lil Yachty and Post Malone to campus to do free concerts on our main quad. So the energy in the Champaign-Urbana community is something that's really exciting. Speaking of energy, we offer 19 Division I athletic programs. We are really excited about all of them. In particular, this year, our men's basketball program is ranked number three in the entire nation at the Division I level. So we're super excited about our basketball teams. But all of the sports bring so much energy to our campus that Atlanta and I genuinely feel that connection when they're involved. Now, with all those academic opportunities, as well as extracurricular opportunities, Atlanta experienced unmatched success. 
Like I mentioned, 10,000 unique employers come to recruit our students every year. That includes Fortune 500 and Fortune 100 companies because of the endless opportunities you receive both inside and outside of the classroom. The Illini success page that's linked here in orange lists out our top employers that include some of those prestigious programs, but they also talk about student startups and organizations and where our students are going immediately after graduation. We have about a 93% placement rate for jobs or continuing education within your field within six months after graduation. So we do, we do give you individualized support. We prepare you for life after graduation and we prepare you to take advantage of all the opportunities that exist on our campus. Now, in terms of our application process, we review applications holistically, meaning we aren't just looking to see that you're the quote unquote best student. We wanna see that you're the best fit for the university and the major or majors you're applying to. When you apply to Illinois, you can list up to two academic programs and they're in order of preference. So first choice and second choice. And we strongly recommend you list a second choice because that gives us as application reviewers multiple avenues to review your application. If you only list one, that'll be the only program you're considered for. If you have two, you'll be considered for your first choice, your second choice, our Division of General Studies, if you didn't already list it, as well as any other related majors or avenues we can use to admit you to the university. When we look at your application, we wanna see your academic preparation. So we take special care to look at your grades individually. Your GPA is listed, but not quite as important. And we also take care to make sure that you are prepared to fit your major. So we wanna see that you understand what that program entails. And we want you to understand exactly what you're walking yourself into. So with that, if you have any other questions, please feel more than free to give us a call at our admissions office or send us an email at admissions at illinois.edu. And we are always more than happy to help. Thank you guys. Thank you very much, University of Illinois. And just a reminder to all of our attendees, feel free to send any questions you may have through the Q&A feature. But up next is Butler University. All right, hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, my name is Kristen Nelson. I am one of the admission counselors at Butler University, working primarily with students from the western suburbs of Chicago. So I am your primary point of contact. As you are getting to know Butler, I will be the first person to look at your application when you apply to the university uh, and just can serve as that resource uh, as you are getting to know the institution. Uh, Butler is located in Indianapolis, Indiana. You will see kind of a flyover of campus on the slide there uh, with that shot of Indianapolis right in the background. And so you can get an idea of the relationship that we have to the city. We are located in Indianapolis, but we are just about five miles northwest of the downtown city center. And so that will give you that opportunity to have access to the city. It has great opportunities to build your resume as well as to add to the student social experience but you also get to benefit from that smaller school, more liberal arts-based Butler experience with kind of this self-contained campus environment. And so you don't have any major roads going through campus. You have this picturesque kind of quad space and area to be on campus within that greater city environment. Looking at some of our general facts and statistics, uh, I just mentioned a little bit of that balance with the smaller school feel. We have about 4,700 undergraduate students on campus at Butler. So another really great balance you get is between big and small. You have uh, Division I athletics, Butler basketball. You're located in a city like Indy and have that national name brand recognition. So you get the kind of school spirit component of what a Butler student experience has to offer. But then we also have an average class size of 22 and 11 to one student to faculty ratio. And so you get this really nice community and personalized experience. We're not so small that you're running out of things to do your first weekend or you've met everyone your first weekend but we're also not so big that you feel like there's this level of anonymity. And so you really get to feel like you can be an active part of the campus community. As you look at our different academic programs that are available, we have over 65 different majors and minors. About two thirds of our students at Butler will have some sort of double major or major and minor combination. So if you do have varying interests and in things that you might be considering, know that there are a lot of ways to really find that best customized pathway for you to help prepare you what, for what your ultimate career goals are going to be after graduation. We are a liberal arts-based institution. You will have a liberal arts core of classes that you would be taking, mostly focused on those first two years. Uh, and then you will declare a major on your application. We will review you specifically for that major. Uh, and that just allows every single one of our undergraduate programs to be direct admit. You're able to start taking courses in that major during your first semester of your first year at Butler. So you will see our six different colleges listed on the screen there. Each of our majors are housed within one of those six different colleges. 
Uh, and some of our more popular programs that you might expect to see Butler students studying, especially things within the sciences, our health sciences major is going to be our most popular and most competitive undergraduate degree at Butler, our six year direct admit pharmacy program, biology, chemistry, biochemistry. Uh, we do have a PA program at Butler if you wanted to pursue your master's in physician assistant studies. And we have great pre health preparation for med school, PT school and some of those other health related fields. Engineering is a popular option. We have a five year dual degree program. It's actually in partnership with Purdue University. We would graduate with a Purdue engineering degree as well as a Butler liberal arts and sciences degree. The double major program coordinated through Butler gives you that access to a Purdue reputation for engineering while still also getting to benefit from that smaller school uh, kind of Butler experience if you think that's something that's going to be more beneficial to you. Uh, we're third in the country for, for classical ballet and have some great arts opportunities. Uh, you have some phenomenal experiences within our College of Education. They've had a 100% job placement rate for the last 16 years. That's something that you're really going to pretty consistently see throughout all of our different programs. Over 79% of our students have one or more internships by the time that you graduate. And if you add, in addition to internships, things like clinical rotation, student teaching, study abroad, undergraduate research, that just expands that number of our students that are engaging in those professional experiences during their time as an undergraduate. I mentioned undergraduate research that's very available to you. You can research as faculty during the school year, participate in summer institute to receive a stipend of research during the summer. And then we also host one of the largest and oldest undergraduate research conferences in the country. Now, the last program or college I really want to mention here before we move on from academics is just our School of Business. Uh, we require two internships as a part of your graduation requirement. We have a 98% job placement rate. And being located in the city of Indianapolis, we have great resources for all of our different academic disciplines for different internship opportunities. Our second largest alumni base is the Chicago area. So if you're wanting to go home for one of those experiences, that would also be a great option for you and very available to you as a student. If you're undecided, we have a great exploratory studies option. That would be what we call our undecided major. This is technically our most popular incoming major. It's about 10% of every incoming class and gives you some really guided support to declare your major. We have a class you take where you spend a lot of time doing interest inventory surveys and other reflective activities. And then you would also have an academic advisor specifically set up to really help you work through that process as an undecided major. As you then start looking at student life and involvement, we have a three-year on-campus requirement for our residence halls. That's really intentionally designed to have our students be present and active on our campus. Uh, we have over 130 student organizations. Over 94% of our students are involved in one or more of those organizations. We have our Division I athletic programs. Students come into all of our sporting events for free. So you definitely have a variety of things to participate in on Butler's campus. We've talked a bit about the city of Indy and our relationship to the city. Again, it adds a lot to the student resume building experience and the student social experience. And then as you start to look at the application process, the application will open August 1st going into your senior year. We have two application deadlines, November 1st and February 1st. And then this will give you our middle 50% of admitted students to get an idea of where you might fall for admission. We are a test optional institution, so you do have that choice. Um, but if you apply with test scores, we will super score. And then we will also use your weighted GPA in that consideration. So if you have any other questions, feel free to send those through the Q&A or the chat. Uh, and again, don't hesitate to reach out uh, if you have any other questions later on. But thank you so much. Great. Thank you very much, Butler University. Um, up next this afternoon is Columbia College Chicago. Thank you so much. My name is Margaret and I'm one of the assistant directors of admission at Columbia College Chicago. I'm the representative for all students who attend Fenwick. Um, I'm joined by my colleague Tashana Thigpen. She will be in the chat. So if you do have questions, um, feel free to ask those in the Q&A and Tashana is responsible for all students who come from Trinity. So let's dive right in and talk a little bit about who we are as an institution. So Columbia College Chicago is a private liberal arts school. We're located in the south loop of the city. So if you're familiar with Lollapalooza and Grant Park, Grant Park is literally our front yard and Chicago is our entire playground. 
Here at Columbia, we seek to combine the creative and media arts with the liberal arts and then the business application of those arts. So what we want to do is make sure that students are ready to hit the ground running in the field that they're ready to pursue. So not only will you be a really talented artist upon your graduation, but you'll have those transferable skills that employers are looking for. And you'll also have that entrepreneurial background to infiltrate the job market. Students at Columbia can expect to experience hands-on learning from your first year at the college, networking and career preparation that also begins right away, a very rigorous curriculum and natural collaboration. A little bit about us by the numbers, we are a medium-sized institution having um, just shy of 7,000 students on our campus total. Um, on average, each year we enroll somewhere between 1,700 and 1,800 new freshmen. We do also have a very large transfer population as well. So if you are a student who's maybe thinking about going to a community college for a year or two and then transferring into Columbia, the pathways to do that are very easy and they're seamless and we would love to help you with that process. Um, our average class size here at Columbia hovers right around 18 students. And even though we are a medium sized school, we pride ourselves on having that very intimate classroom experience. So you can get to know the folks that you're gonna collaborate with throughout your time at Columbia, but you also get access to our stellar faculty who are working professionals in their industries. And by in, in turn, you also get access to their networks as well. So our student to full-time faculty ratio is 12 to one and our faculty members very are very talented, but they're also equally as passionate um, about training our students in the same crafts and making sure that our students find that same success. Diversity, equity, and inclusion are really important to us. Um, around 42% of our entire campus body identify as students of color. Around a third of our campus community identify as members of the LGBTQ plus community. And then around 16% of our campus body are first generation college students. But we take it one step past boasting these stats and telling you about these numbers, but we do have several offices and initiatives in place to make sure that students, no matter how you identify, um, you feel like you are affirmed here at Columbia, that you have a voice here at Columbia and that you're included here at Columbia. So a little bit about us, we have 60 plus majors and programs and they typically fall within these six categories that you see here on the screen, business and management, communication and writing, media and digital arts, music and sound, performing arts and visual arts. Our top programs are in film and television. We're actually um, the number two school in the Midwest for film. Um, we also have very strong musical theater and acting based programs. We have a really awesome graphic design and game design program, um, audio arts is a really popular major as well as um, things in fashion design and communication and music business. Um, here at Columbia we do have some BA degrees or general Bachelor of Arts degrees but you might also be seeing a BFA or Bachelor of Fine Arts or B Muse or Bachelor of Music. The difference between those two here at Columbia is that the BAs offer more flexibility so if you are a student who's thinking about maybe double majoring you see things on two or three things on this list that stand out to you that BA will probably be a better fit for you. If you're a student who says, don't, don't talk to me unless it involves musical theater, um, then the BFA will probably be a better fit. And there are some additional um, portfolio and audition requirements to enter into those BFA and BMUSE programs directly as a first year student. Um, you can check out our website, column.edu slash majors for more information about all of our majors and programs, including internships, um, probable jobs after college, and different prospects for um, alumni and things like that. No matter what major you choose, no matter what degree type you choose, the basis of your curriculum here is going to be in the Columbia core, which is a really fancy way of saying you're gonna take some gen eds. So sorry if you thought going to art school meant you escaped that. Here at Columbia, you still will be taking those courses. But what we seek to do in our liberal arts and science core is make those courses relevant to the type of work that you might be doing every day. So say you're a student who's interested in fashion design. Instead of taking college algebra or calculus, you will be taking math for fashion, which really takes a look at the measurements and the things like that that you might be using. You might also not take general chemistry one-on-one, -on -one, but you will take the chemistry of textiles and fabrics to really understand chemistry. So it gets you your science credit, but it makes it um, applies it through a lens of what you will be doing every single day. And this Columbia Core curriculum is really what sets us apart from schools who look like us and offer the same sorts of majors and programs that we offer. Um, in our most recent survey, 86% of our students report being employed in their field within six months of graduation or going or go on to further schooling. 
Here at Columbia, we understand that, you know, finding a college that's the right fit for you not only involves finding a college that has the majors and programs that you're looking for, maybe those social activities, but it also involves finding a college that fits your budget. So I want to take a minute to talk you through our tuition and fees and our housing costs and then our financial aid programming. So for the current school year, students are paying $28 $1,118 in tuition and fees, which includes your health center fee, your student activity fee, and then the price of a U-Pass, so you can take Chicago Transit Authority for free. And then our average housing cost is right under $17,000, where we do award scholarships in three different categories, academic merit, financial need, and talent. So you can definitely submit for all three and be um, considered for one large scholarship here at the college. Our application process is super brief. You can apply through our website or you can apply through the Common App. We'll just need your official high school transcripts, one short answer response and nothing else. And we will review your application within three to five weeks. So definitely encourage you to visit to learn a little bit more beyond six minutes and we would be happy to answer any questions that you all have. And I'll drop our contact information in the chat. Thank you all so much for being here and let us know if we can help. Thank you very much, Columbia College. And now we're going to move on to our final presenter, uh, Western Illinois University. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for listening in and your energy today. Uh, my name is Audrey Barrientos, and I am an admissions counselor with Western Illinois University. So what that means to you right now is I'm going to share some information. What that means to you in the future is I'm actually regionally based in the Oak Park River Forest area, um, just down the street from Fenwick, and here to serve you uh, in the future. If you have questions, comments, um, need help with anything, or if your parents or guardians have questions or comments. Um, so just kind of diving in. Western Illinois University is a four-year public school here in the state of Illinois. We are considered a medium-sized state school, but we're not in the Chicagoland area. So you'll see campus behind me here. That's our main campus. We actually have two locations, a location in Macomb, Illinois, which is located in the central western part of our state. You see that one here. That's the one I'm going to focus on today because that's where most of my Fenwick and Trinity students usually attend. However, we do have a smaller campus location in Moline, Illinois, in the Quad Cities area, which is a little bit closer, but there's no residence halls here, there. So typically students are transferring there um, when they're upperclassmen. Our main campus in Macomb is about three and a half hours away in the central western part of Illinois. We are a medium sized school um, in very much of a college town. Macomb, Illinois has got a super laid back, supportive, friendly vibe that um, can be a little bit of a different experience for students coming from very urban areas of Chicago suburbs. It is a residential campus, meaning that we do actually require our students to live on campus for their first two years, but we make sure that we bring the fun and the support and all of the, um, the extra stuff to students so that they don't feel like they're in the middle of you know, nowhere, for example, um, and really enjoying campus. Our average class size is about 18 students, so we try really hard to give students a personal approach. You'll never have a situation at Western where you have 100, 200, 300 um, people in your class. And so students typically that choose Western really appreciate that love that they have the opportunity to um, get to know their classmates, but also not be a face in a sea of, um, you know, just a face in a sea of people to their professor. Our main campus in Macomb has about 6,000 undergraduate students. And so our total population for both locations is the number you see here, 7,600. But our main campus just has a little bit over 6,000 students. So um, kind of a good size uh, for students that are coming to us. Just in terms of admissions, we have temporarily changed our admissions requirements this year, and we will um, keep them temporarily changed for next year, too, in response to the pandemic. So we've lowered the requirements a little bit just to meet students where they are in case the virtual world wasn't the best world for them. Um, so 2.75 or higher GPA and a student will be accepted to Western. Anything below that, we do have an alternative admissions program called REACH. We are test optional, so a student does not have to submit a test score for any reason unless they want a spot in our nursing program. We have two roads to nursing, direct entry and um, pre-nursing. If you don't have a test score, you can come to us as a pre-nursing student, but if you want a spot in our nursing program, that's the only one with the exception with regards to the test. 
We have some amazing scholarships that we offer to students. Actually, every Fenwick and Trinity High School student, um, if you apply to Western, you'd automatically get a thousand dollar scholarship just for um, living and going to high school where you go to high school. So some really cool automatic ones. If you visit with us either virtually in person or if you visit with me individually via Zoom, uh, Google Meets, et cetera, um, we will award you a thousand dollar visitor scholarship. And then any student with a 3.3 or higher GPA will automatically get at least $3,000 per year to attend Western. The higher your GPA, the more money that we award you. So these are automatic opportunities, but we have additional scholarships that we offer to students um, that require an additional application. It's just one, but it would put you in the running for anything else that you might qualify for, including our full ride presidential scholarship. So some great opportunities for financial assistance there. Our total cost per year is about $21,000. That includes everything but your books. So tuition fees, all your food, your dorm room for the school year. The average student that attends Western receives about $17,000 in financial aid. Okay, so that could be grants, loans, scholarships, etc. So um, the average student that attends Western is paying way less than $21,000 to attend, which students really appreciate kind of having a more realistic idea of what they're going to be paying. Um, kind of moving on, we have over 60 majors at Western, many, many wonderful choices, uh, majors that I've been asked about, about your past, your colleagues and classmates from past years are theater, um, music, nursing, engineering, we have a very strong business program, education, we're over 120 years old, the very first major we had was education, it continues to be one of our strongest, but as you can see here, there are many, many choices. When you apply to the university, you do not apply to the specific program or major, so it's okay if you're undecided, and it's okay if you can't decide between five different things that you love. We're rolling in admissions, which means you can technically apply anytime throughout your senior year, so we're still accepting applications for seniors, but it is important important to apply sooner than later um, because uh, we do have deadlines for scholarships and some other financial incentives. All right, and just um, last but not least, I kind of want to highlight a little bit about um, some of the stuff to do on campus. Our students pre predominantly come from the Chicagoland area um, or, or larger cities than Macomb, and we make sure that students are really feeling supported socially as well as academically. So we have over 250 student organizations, uh, fraternities and sororities, a very strong Greek life, um, a really amazing multicultural center. We have an extremely diverse campus, and we also are big on sports. We have three different levels of sports, division one, intramural and club sports. So a way to find your niche in a, in a group of people that have similar passions and interests as you. And I'll leave off with my contact information as well as the visit website. If you wanted to sign up for a visit, you are welcome to call, email or text me at any time with questions as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Western Illinois. Um, and thank you to all of our presenters uh, this afternoon. It was wonderful to hear about your schools. Uh, before we wrap up, we only have a couple of minutes left, but why don't I ask you all to turn on your webcams for a second uh, so all the attendees can see you. Um, and again, encourage all of our attendees to contact the schools, do virtual visits, et cetera, to learn more about their programs. But it was wonderful having all of you today. It was wonderful for all of our attendees uh, to visit with us as well. Uh, before we do end this session, I just want to do a very quick wrap up. Uh, once you close this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey that we ask that you take a minute and complete. And there is one other block of sessions um, immediately following this session. So feel free to sign up for one of those if you haven't already. And about one week from today, a recording of the session will be available on that same registration website. But again, uh, thank you to everybody. Uh, have a great day and good luck in your college search.